algorithms differ from Mosquito Eater? I, it's, well, it's way faster uh, and heavier, grindier. Uh, algorithms, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot slower, lighter, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a bunch of like really chill sections. Oh, the music is like, it's exactly the same. Sam has this weird noise maker box type thing, and uh, it, it's kind of funny because Keller and I are uh, fans of this TV show called The IT Crowd, and uh, in one of the episodes they refer to this like little black box as the internet, and uh, for the duration of our recording experience here, we've actually been referring to Sam's box as the internet, and it's just been kind of like a, a joke that's been going around. Oh, oh, the internet. Um... The internet's great. It's a little, it's a little uh, synthesizer that I made several years ago that barely works. Um, it was my first uh, foray into soldering. It. I have the benefit of having been listening to the songs build over the course of the tracking, so I've been like making mental notes during all the tracking as to like, you know, what what did I use during tracking and what is left to be done and what would I like to use in mixing. Um, so you know, if I was just mixing your band, if I hadn't tracked it, I'd probably spend some time with just a really basic mix with no EQ, just listening to all the songs and kind of getting the vibe of, of things. And and then it just becomes yeah a matter of of uh, auditioning gear if I know that I want to go like in a like a deeper direction with the bass, like I'll you know, try a few compressors or try a few different EQs until I find the right one to get that sound. And, um, and yeah, it's just like a constant process of uh, tweaking gear and, and maybe swapping out gear if something's not working. Yeah. 